of Cixi volunteers held the first Buddha Day ceremony of this year at the Hualien Jing Zi Hall in Taiwan. Cixi volunteers set up booth at Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall in Taipei to help people understand the meaning behind Buddha Day ceremony. Welcome to Dollar Headlines, I'm Helen Liao, thank you for joining us. For Cixi, Buddha Day is a day that holds much significance as it represents reverence, gratitude and compassion. This day is a reminder to be grateful for the grace of Buddha, our parents and all humanity. On May 11, 7 a.m. local time in Taiwan, under the leadership of Master Zheng Yan and Dharma Masters from Jingzi Abode, this year's first Buddha Day ceremony commenced at the Hualien Jingzi Hall. Uh -huh. The premier large-scale Buddha Day ceremony kicks off with the solemn chanting of the incense praise. Jing Sibo Dharma Masters lead fellow directors of Ciji's four missions, staff members and Ciji volunteers in united sincerity and praise the three treasures. The Chai celebration of Buddha Day, Mother's Day and Global Ciji Day is a time to honor the Buddha, one's mother and all humanity. This year, the ceremony's theme is based on the Buddhist cosmology, and the ceremonial table is in the design of a concentric circle organization, which is formed by the abode's Dharma masters, practitioners, and other city volunteers from around the globe. To have a Buddhist heart is actually keeping our own hearts pure. Through this process, we can cleanse our mind of worries and impurities, so we can accept the Dharma into our hearts and head into enlightenment. <laughs> I really hope for a world free of disasters, and those involved in media really needs this type of an atmosphere to harmonize our society's disorders. At the ceremony, everyone joins together in prayer for a harmonious society and a cleansing of their hearts. Those with worries can attend the ceremony and get rid of their mind's impurities and cleanse their spirit. The flying bodhisattva formation on both sides represents living bodhisattvas on earth caring for all sentient beings. Over 3,000 people, which included Hualien's police officers and firefighters, are immersed in the Buddha's grace. The fragrance of the Buddha's virtue and dharma lingers in the hearts of all participants. In central Taiwan, city volunteers organized the Buddha Day ceremony at Taichung's Dajia Sports Field, where over 6,000 participants took part. Meanwhile, in Kaohsiung, volunteers held the ceremony both inside and outside of the local Jingzi Hall. The city mayor Chen Zhu also seized the opportunity to take part. <coughs> Joining city volunteers Zhu Junyuan in offering flowers at the Buddha Day ceremony is Kaohsiung City Mayor Chen Zhu, who believes that the celebration plays an important role in cleansing our hearts and minds. I hope with Buddha's grace, our society will become more accommodating. Please drink the tea. Sorry for not being a thoughtful child before. Serving a cup of tea to his mother, city volunteer Yang Zhou Ru repents for his past mistakes. Before, he was often involved in illegal affairs. However, now he has changed for the better and has regained the trust of his family. He changes a lot. Now he's more polite and is very filial to me. He knows how to better communicate with me. At the Kaohsiung Jingsi Hall, city volunteers not only hold the ceremony in front of the premises, but also at the Sutra Lecture Hall at the He Jing Lobby, as they hope to include as many participants as possible to purify their hearts, thus making the society one full of peace and harmony. Meanwhile, at the Dajia Sports Stadium in Taichung, senior residents of a local nursing home come together to join in city's Buddha Day ceremony. Four-year-old Grandpa Wu, who is accompanied by his son, is immersed with Dharma Joy too. The Buddha Day ceremony in Dajia has seen over 6,000 participants who join in prayer to wish a world free of disaster. 
also celebrating Buddha Day, our staff members at the Hualien, Taipei and Daling City Hospitals, where medical staff thoughtfully organized a mobile cart with a statue of the Enlightened One, making it possible for patients and their family members to perform the Buddha Day ritual. The whole world is commemorating this Chai celebration. It is indeed a very auspicious occasion. Carrying the blessings of Master Zheng Yun and the Jing Zibo Dharma Masters, Hualien City Hospital staff visit patients room to room. <laughs> Dipping his hands into the fragrant water and receiving a flower, patient Wang Qingfeng honors the Buddha, while not forgetting to wish his wife a happy Mother's Day and thanking her for taking care of him. Thank you, my dear wife. Mother works for other people to provide for us. It's like that for all the families from the countryside. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Under the leadership of 2016 Sir Bo Dama Masters, we visited patients in their rooms and gave them the opportunity to pay their respects to the Buddha. We also wish them a happy Buddha Day and Mother's Day. Although unable to celebrate the special occasion outdoors, patients and their families could nevertheless feel the warmth and care of the Tsuji family. Early morning, more than 1,000 Taipei Tsuji hospital staff and Tsuji volunteers formed the magnificent design of the Bodhi leaf and number 48, which signifies the 48th anniversary of Tsuji. Under the lead of Dharma Masters of the Jing Si Abode, participants pray with sincere piety for a world without calamity and disaster. I wish for everyone to have compassion in their hearts and a world free of calamities and disaster. Today is also the 48th anniversary of Tsuji. I wish for all Tsuji volunteers worldwide to remain diligent and be filled with Dharma joy. First-time participants of the event includes head nurse Li Li Zhu, who is also a new member of the Tsuji family. Partaking in the Buddha Day ritual for the very first time, she felt immense joy and serenity. I feel a sense of calm. The atmosphere is very serene, and I feel like my body and mind have all been cleansed. If there are events like this in the future, I will definitely attend. For those patients with restricted mobility and unable to attend the ceremony outdoors, hospital staff thoughtfully organized a mobile cart with a statue of the Enlightened One to allow patients to also perform the Buddha Day ritual. Through the event, it is hoped that compassion will be ignited in the hearts of participants and everyone will further be inspired to practice good deeds. Letting go of all their worries and praising the Buddha with the utmost reverence, in this moment, hearts and minds are still. Having attended the Buddha Day event for many years now, Darling Tsuji Hospital Dr. Xu Baobao says, for her, the ceremony has come to represent compassion and wisdom. Previously, I was told to attend, but now I attend out of my own will. Through performing the Buddha Day rituals, I learned the Buddha's compassion and wisdom, and I have become more tolerant towards my patients. This year, Darling Tsuji Hospital moved the ceremony to a nearby park to make it possible for more community members and hospital staff to be a part of this important occasion. The Buddha Day Rucho purifies our inner being. We can find a sense of calm in society during these turbulent times. Moving forward with each step in unison and hearts unwavering, it is hoped everyone can exercise dharma in their actions and walk the path of Bodhisattva with diligence. Since May, Central Taiwan Tsuji volunteers have been conducting a series of Buddha Day events. Some organized a smaller Buddha Day ceremony at a nursing home, while others brought the ceremony to community residents' doorsteps. Pushing a mobile cart with the statue of the Enlightened One, Zhang Hua Tsuji volunteers sent blessings to residents' doorsteps. Bathing in the Buddha's grace, Chen Yanzhen seizes the opportunity to wash her 103-year-old mother's feet. When we are honoring the Buddha, we need to remain humble. As we put our hands into the basin, we are actually cleansing our mind and spirit. Meanwhile, Taichung Tsuji volunteers visit a local nursing home and hold a smaller Buddha Day ceremony there. This is fragrant. Wish you good health. 
With the event being held in a facility, seniors with limited mobility also have a chance to honor the Buddha. To be honest, we are really moved. What a thoughtful organization. Tsuji's Buddha Day events reach all corners of communities. In Yunling, volunteers organize a ceremony in the lobby of a hospital. While attending the event, stroke patient Zhang Quinting is moved to tears. I hope the Buddha and Bodhisattvas will bless me with a speedy recovery. Among the participants is also Professor Ye Chen Gang from China, whose sister's life story was made into a diorama. Twenty years ago, my sister was involved in an accident that almost ruined our family. Thank you, Master Zheng Yan and Ji, for supporting us through that difficult time. Honoring the Buddha with piety, in this moment, everyone's heart becomes purified and immaculate. In the past, when members of the public joined the Buddha Day ceremony, they would have to dip their hands into the fragrant water to honor the Buddha. However, to improve sanitation, a new technology is invented for this year's ceremony. Here's more. Do you notice anything different? This year, instead of dipping their hands into the fragrant water, participants only have to put their hands gently on the top of the diffuser. In previous years, we have set up gutters and water will flow through it. This year, Master Zheng Yan reminded us to incorporate newer technology to enhance sanitation of the ceremony. Other than enhancing sanitation, through ultrasonic, the diffuser will also release fragrant mist. This year, we will be using liquid lemongrass extracted by Jinsobo Dharma Masters. We have tested that 600 milliliter of the water will be able to last for about four and a half hours. At the ceremony that will take place at the Jiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall, 3,600 diffusers will be used. To make sure the event can go smoothly without a hitch, volunteers and manufacturers seized every opportunity to test each diffuser. Although the design of the diffuser brings a sense of modern technology to the ceremony, what doesn't change is the dignity and solemnness of the event. In Taiwan's Taipei City, prior to the Buddha Day ceremony that took place at the Jiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, city volunteers have thoughtfully set up a booth to help members of the public understand the meaning behind the ceremony, pay respect to the Buddha and repay their parents' grace. This is the scene at the Jiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall in Taipei City. To make sure members of the public can gain a better understanding of the Buddha Day ceremony, booths are set up three days prior to the celebration. Many people don't know the meaning behind the Buddha Day ceremony. That's why we have set up eight booths three days prior to the celebration, to help them understand the meaning behind it. At the prayer service area, Tsuji volunteers explain to members of the public the meaning behind the ceremony. Other than paying respect to the Buddha, volunteers hope to inspire participants to cleanse in their hearts and recognize their blessings. <laughs> Inside the booths, participants can pay their respect to the Buddha, while volunteers capture the solemn moment. Next, members of the public will come across the statue of the Enlightened One, which they can make a vow or pray for blessings. The Buddha guides us onto the right path, helps us discover our wisdom and inspire us to do good deeds. Through the simple ceremony, volunteers who participants can take the Dharma to heart. How to cultivate more blessings? We need to live a frugal life and eat a simpler diet. Inside each blessing package is Tiji's instant rice invented by Jing Zerbo Dharma Masters. Tiji volunteers hope the blessing package can remind members of the public to live a simple life and be grateful. <laughs> Other than paying respect to the Buddha, volunteers also encourage participants to seize the opportunity to repay their parents' grace at the booth.
We represent the eight white oxen and why? Master Zheng Yin says that the white ox cart can guide us on the Bodhi path, help us get rid of ignorance and affliction. When we are free from these problems, we won't create bad karma. Listening closely to a volunteer's explanation, recycling volunteers at a city recycling station in Shuling district are here to honor the Buddha. Praying sincerely for peace and harmony, volunteers hope their wishes will reach the heavens. Some volunteers even seize the opportunity to help those in greater need by donating their love. Other than attending the ceremony, most importantly, we need to incorporate Buddhist teachings into our daily lives. The teachings remind us to get rid of our bad habits. I want to extend my blessing to everyone. I hope everyone can live in peace and prosperity. Through visiting the Zhang Kai Shek Memorial Hall, recycling volunteers not only have the opportunity to celebrate City's Tri Celebration of Buddha Day, Mother's Day, and Global City Day, but also go home full of blessings and Dharma joy. For this year's Buddha Day ceremony at the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall, many people are needed to fill in the formation to present a beautiful and solemn occasion. Participants in the formation come from all walks of life, from teachers to daughters and even second-generation entrepreneurs. Let's take a look at what inspired each of them to join in the celebration this year. Having studied and worked abroad for years, Chen Zhiming's only knowledge of Ciji was limited to international relief work. It was only when Ciji volunteers visited the hotel his family owns to place Jing Safras in volumes that he gained a better understanding of Ciji and enrolled as a volunteer. It makes me happy to see at least four of the books I placed were taken by guests. Now a Ciji volunteer in training, Chen Zhiming's participation in the Buddha Day celebration has deeply inspired him to give his mother Mother a different Mother's Day gift. I'm treating my mother to a vegetarian meal to celebrate Mother's Day. I hope she appreciates my efforts. Also giving their mother a present filled with blessings is sister pair Wang Ya Ru and Wang Ya Hui, who are rehearsing in the Buddha Day ceremony with their father. My treatment was scheduled for May 1st, so I couldn't participate in all the rehearsals for the Buddha Day ceremony. In the past, Chen Shouchang participated every year. However, due to suffering from an angioma, the daughters also hope to garner blessings for their mother by participating. I hope my mother's leg gets better soon and can continue walking the Tzuji path with my father. I wanted to participate and gain a new perspective. A man of few words, husband Wang Kun Shou, expresses his support through action. She can't attend, so I'm going for her. Teacher Guo Yanzi from Bai Yun Primary School has invited her students and their parents to participate in Ziji's Buddha Day celebration. The year before last, I was able to invite four. In my first year, I invited two. Each year, I've been able to invite more and more people. For many participants, their hearts are filled with much anticipation. Pray to the Buddha for a world free of disaster and suffering. I hope they are healthy and safe. United in efforts, all participants look forward to a beautiful ceremony. In our next report, we go to Taichung's Dali to meet Zheng Jinghui, who says every day is like a Mother's Day celebration for her, thanks to the company of her loving husband and daughters. A community volunteer in Dali, Taichung, Zheng Jinghui, energetically leads a group of seniors in dance. The group activity has revitalized the seniors. Many can now stretch much better. Before, they didn't even know how to count the beat. When I told them we were going to enter a competition, they got really nervous. But now they dance very well to the rhythm and can follow the beat. When I make mistakes, they will actually correct me. I love what I do. It is evident that Zheng is passionate about her volunteer work. What makes her even happier is that for seven years, her husband and three daughters have been joining her every week. As Zen dancers, her daughters help prepare meals, take photos, and also measure the blood pressure of the seniors. Uh, 
I am accompanying my mother, so I may share her experience. That way, we will have more to talk about. Before, she was just a housewife and only had to take care of our family. Now, it's like she has a job and can take on many different responsibilities. The mother and daughters have come to be known as the four fairies in the community. Zhen says she is most thankful for her husband's support. He won't oppose. He says it's good that I go out instead of just sitting at home every day. So I started doing this by chance. This is the biggest reward. I have such a happy and tight-knit family. Zhen Jingwei's loving husband happily records her happiness with his camera. Seeing her family devoting themselves happily to the same cause, Zhen says it is like Mother's Day for her every day. In China, at the Ciji Luoshui Service Center in Sichuan Province, volunteers Li Jianchong plans to spend her retirement days in complete bliss and playing the mahjong. However, it was Li's grandson Zhang Lunhan who always encouraged his grandma to attend the weekly recycling day at the service center that Li gradually found her way onto the Ciji path. Whether it is taking pictures of objects or people, volunteer Li Jianchong documents each Ciji event and even knows how to make it into a PowerPoint presentation. When Li retired from her teaching job, her initial plan was to spend the rest of her days playing mahjong. When I was still working, I often played mahjong, but it was never enough for me. I thought to myself, once I retire, I will play three rounds a day, every day. However, it was her eight-year-old grandson that showed Li the Ciji path and recycling. When it's almost Friday, he would say to me, Grandma, it's Friday tomorrow, you have to do recycling in Luoshui. Thinking kind thoughts and doing good deeds is something grandson Zhang Lunhan practices each day. To support his grandma in her endeavors, Lunhan promises to be independent. <laughs> Her grandson's thoughtfulness has inspired Li to also spend more time with her own mother. Being 90 years of age and still in good health, each Tuesday, the mother-daughter pair spends some quality time together. Embodying in the city spirit, Li cares for the environment and those around her. Li's decision to leave the Majo table and take the city path instead has made her days of retirement all the more content and fulfilling. We go to the Taichung Intercontinental Baseball Stadium at the end of the show, where local volunteers held the largest Buddha Day ceremony in central Taiwan. The event was joined by 80 religious representatives and more than 10,000 people, who also came to pay their respect to the Buddha. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for watching Dai Headlines. Goodbye.